So here, this is the revision sheet for chapter 12 in geometry. Let's start now with the question number one. In order here to find the value of x to the nearest term. So as Hanin said, x plus 8 squared is x squared plus 10 squared. Then, so it is like Pythagorean theorem. The first one, it's x plus 8. And 10 squared, oh, 10 squared is equal to x plus x plus 8 squared. Then, so here. So x plus 8 squared will be x squared plus 16 x plus 64. Yeah, x squared <clears throat> plus 16 x plus 64 is x squared plus 10 squared. Then after you arrange it here, x squared cancels x 16x will be 100 minus 64. So 16x will be, will be 30. I will be over. So x will be 2.25. So what is the value of x here? It is 2.25. Teacher, but after doing it to the nearest tenth, should we say it's uh, 2.3 or keep it as 2.25? Ah, yeah, 2.3 to the nearest tenth, yes. That's it here. Do you have any question? No, teacher. No, no teacher. Thank you. Okay, now. Question number two. Here you have an X and Y. Find the value of each variable using the giving chord, secant, and tangent things. Thank you, Honey. Now who wants to help me in question number two? Uh, can I? Yes, Susan. We can use one of the theorems to find X. I think we need to find X here first. So to find x, we can say that it is x plus 4 plus 6, and all of this multiplied by 6 is equal to is equal to 9 squared. And then we can find x. So wait, x plus 4 plus 6 times 6 is 9 squared. So x plus 10 times x times 6 is 9 squared. So x plus 10 is 81 over 6, so x will be 3.5. So here we found x, then how can we find y? And then we can say that 4 multiplied by x is equal to 5 multiplied by y. Bravo, 4x is 5y. Now since x is a 3.5, so 4 times 3.5 is 5y. So after you solve it, you'll find that y is 2.8. So the value of x will be 3.5. And the value of y will be 2.8. Do you have any question now? Is it clear? You see, it's clear. Yes, clear. OK. Now here, question number three. Find the measure of the arc AB. Find the measure yeah. of the arc AB. Yes, Rose. Um, it will be 40 because like courts, it's equal arc. A, B. Yeah, this AB, it's equal, this is a court. So it's equal 40. So the arc will be 42. Like it will be 40. The arc will be the measurement. Yeah, we were saying what's the measurement of um, AB, right? Oh, yes. Okay. So the measurement of the arc will be the measurement of the central angle. Oh. We're going to use um, the theorem that says. Here, what did you need to find? The measure of this arc. 
in order to find the measure of this arc, you need to find the measure of the central angle. And the measure of the central angle will be equal to the measure of the arc. Okay? Okay. So the measure of the angle A, C, B is the measure of the arc A, B. So in order to find the measure of the arc A, B, I need to find the measure of the angle A, P, B. Now then, how do you find the measure of the angle A, P, B? Can I, I use this triangle? triangle is it two? And then multiplying the angle by two. Exactly. Now, if I can use, I can use this triangle. This triangle can help me to find the measure of this small angle here. Oh, sorry. The measure of this angle. If you multiply it by two, you will get the measure of the angle APB. So I will use the orange triangle here in order to find the measure of the angle P. So here we have this triangle. Here we have a half of 40, which is 20, 16. And I want to use this angle. So I will use the trigonometric functions opposite over hypotenuse, which is the sine. So uh -huh. I will use sine inverse of 20. Opposite. Teacher, this okay. is, I had a question in this one. What does 40 stand for? Because this cannot be a right triangle. Oh, no, that's okay. No. So no, this I didn't is change this 40 is to be 20. Okay, let's make it 20. So it's, it's cannot because sine of 20 over 16 cannot be greater than one. So if it's 20, so half of it will be 10. It's okay now? You see too. Yeah. So then opposite, which is 10 over 16. So sine inverse of 10 over 16 will be the measure of the angle P. So the measure of the angle P will be sine inverse of 10 over 16. So Measure of angle P will be 38.68. I can say 38.7. So this is what now? This is now the measure of the angle P. Now then, I told you like this angle here is 38.7. But what did I need to find? I need to find the measure of this whole angle. So the measure of angle A. PB will be two double the measure of the angle P. Because if this is 38.4, and if this is since B, I will can say the ray P bisects the uh, chord, cut it into two equal halves, so it will be perpendicular. Since it is perpendicular, so this from the side angle side, SAS, we can prove that the second triangle is congruent. Since it's congruent, so it has the same measure, which is 38.4. So the measure of the angle APB will be 38.4 times 2. And teacher, this is a central angle, right? Yes. So since it's a central angle, we will say within a circle or congruent circles, congruent arcs have congruent central angle. So it will be the same. Yeah, so the measure, I love it, where the measure of this angle APB is 77.4 degree. What is this now? This is the measure of the central angle. But what did I need? The arc AB. The arc. So what the, since the measure of APB is 77.4, so the measure of the arc AB will be... It will be 77.4. 77.4. 
Yes. Because congruent arcs have congruent angles. Yeah. Teacher? Yes. I supposed this was a right triangle. And when I was solving, I took the other leg and said it was eight. So I took cosine of half. And then I solved for that. And I got a different measurement. So I should change the question into instead of being 40 to be 20, the measurement. But here, how can you use the sign? And we use the cosine, we use, we use the sine or cosine? Yeah, I use cosine. Cosine of what? Cosine, cosine of, of I, I did the other shorter leg. I tried to find it and I supposed it was eight. Instead of 16, it was eight. So I said eight over 16. And you change the numbers? Yeah. Okay, that's but not was, I had to find it to eight. I don't know. I like. I think I used some theorem which was wrong in this case. But then I found the other leg to be eight, and the hypotenuse was sixteen. So I found cosine half, and I got a different answer. So it's wrong, right? Wait, hello. You put this one is sixteen. The hypotenuse is sixteen. Yeah, and the other leg uh, is eight, not ten. Like, yeah, this one is eight. I suppose that it is eight. Yeah. But how do you use cosine? It must be sine. No, teacher, it's like not this leg, the other one, the one you put first. Um, yeah. Okay, okay. And this one, you don't know its link? Yeah, I didn't know it because okay. I didn't see that 40 was cut in the middle. It didn't seem like it was in the middle. But Okay. okay, but here, this is not 18. If you suppose that, or you, you put an example in your mind that I measure that this is 8 as an example. And this no is not known. It's unknown. Yeah. Okay, you will find this angle by the cosine, multiply it by 2 in order to find the length of this arc. And okay, you recreate a new question. That's okay. Unfortunately. That's not Okay, now, do you have any question here? Let's come back. No teacher. No teacher. Let's come back here, one second, please. Okay, here. Do you have any thing you want to ask me about? No teacher, thank you. Okay. Teacher, here we didn't use like arcs equal chords because um, we don't have two chords, right? We should have two chords that are congruent, not only one chord. Sorry, but you don't use what? Because like I saw this, we have like here a chord and then the chord will be equal to arc. No, like we said that if the arc, the length of the arc equals the length of the central angle. And if the central angle equals the length of the chord, then the length of the chord will be equal to the length of the arc. And this is was a theorem, but you cannot use it. Yeah in order to find the major of the arc. In order to find the major of the arc, you need to find the major of the central angle. Okay, teacher, thank you. Yeah. Now here, question number four. Find the value of each variable, A, B, C, and D. Now, look at angle 48 degree here. This one, this is an, uh, what do you call it? It's not a center, uh, what do you call it, sorry? Can you remind me it's name? That's B is 48 multiplied by two. So the major, since this one here is 48, so the measure of angle A will be? Double that. Yeah, so which yeah, will double. be 96. 96. And the major of B, would be it's the measure of the central the angle. Of would be so it will be 96. Hello, the measure of the central angle is 96. The measure of the its corresponding chords will be 90, it will be the same as the central angle. So A is 96 and B is 96. Now what about C? Now teacher for B, can we say it's equal 48 equal half? times the measurement of B? Yes, it will be the same, yeah. Okay. 
then multiply by the reciprocal, you will get 96. So how can you find C now? Half 120, half 120. Yeah, since look at its, its sides, they are between this arc. So it will be, so the measure. So let's write here that the measure of the angle X, uh, Oh, okay, let's name that in order to write the steps. Let's name that. This is X and this is Y and this is Z. So the measure of the angle X, Z, Y will be half the measure of the arc X, Y. So the measure of the angle B will be 96 degree. And the measure of the angle A will be equal to the measure of the angle B of the arc B, so which is 96 degree. Right. Now, let's talk about C. Now, the measure of C will be half the measure half of the arc one. Z, Y, which is half 120, which is 60 degree. So the measure of C is 60 degree. Now, what did I need to find? I need to find D now. Now, here is 120, and here is 96. And the whole circle equals 360. So, so we first minus 144. So, you can say, like, um, oh, without, okay, 360 minus 96 plus 120. So it will, this is, will be now the measure of the arc XD, XZ. It will, be, it will be 144. 144, bravo. So this is here now, the measure of the arc XD. Now what did I need? I need to find the measure of angle D. What's the measure of angle so D? It's it will be half, half, half the measure of the arc XD, which is, will be 72 degree. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Now here, the last one. Use the circle at the right. To, to answer each question. What is the name of the tangent line? F. F. Yeah. What is the name of the F secant? Teacher, what do you mean about F? Here. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. This one here. Its name oh, is okay. Now. What is the name of the secant? E. 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 What is the name of the diameter? It's A D two. A C. And or A D C. They are the same. What is the name of the chord? B C. Please. Teacher, please bring like this in the exam. <laughs> like this, I think if I took this in the like you know in, in our class and like that, I would take class one mark. Yes, the chapter it's easy. Yeah, it's easy. Do you have any question now? I feel like it's better like to bring it in the exam because like it will make like better marks, you know. Like it will be I, I told you, I, I remember that uh, this class they get more, most of them get full marks. So so easy. Yeah. So it will help us in our exams. Inshallah. Thank you so much, That's, teacher. You are welcome. This is the revision for the geometry. Do you have any question? Teacher, for the first question about the about the tangent, no wait, yeah, about the tangent lines. If they didn't give us x, like, can you go for a teacher the first question? Mm -hmm. Aren't you? Here, okay. Yeah, um, this one. No, the first one, teacher. Oh, sorry. This one. Uh, teacher, if here X and it, if they didn't give us X, we will consider it as the whole, this line. 
La for, uh, don't worry, for me in the exam, I will not, I know that your book is not so clear to let you where's eight. So if I yeah. want to tell you that this is eight as an example, I will put this mark in order to know that this mid, this part is eight. Okay. Or if I want to, to let you that this is eight, I will put this like this and this is eight. Okay, teacher, thank you. Yeah. Do you have any question? Uh, um, not about geometry, but about trigonometry. Okay. Do you have a clear question to ask me about that or something? Yeah, else? just a question about the exam uh, in trigonometry. Uh, shall we mention the domain of validity when we verify an identity? No, no. Okay. Oh yeah, teacher, the domain, and I don't know what maybe there is. No, I, I told with you uh, only how if you if I ask you what is the domain, you answer. Hello, some of the problems verify then identify the domain. This is not including. Only I want you to verify. Okay, so no need for the domain. For the verify, but for the previous yes. problem, when I ask you find the domain, you need to find it. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You are welcome. Now for uh, the next period, I will not uh, give you because I have the grade eight, I need to continue with them. So um, for tomorrow, uh, what did you need? Do you need to make an, do you have any uh, questions or uh, like homework discussion for chapter 13 and 14? Actually, there's no time to make a revision sheet. I don't have any time. So I will make a, I will, what a period for you in order to solve uh, some questions I didn't understand or in homework discussion or ask me any question. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay teacher. this will be tomorrow, inshallah. And, uh, by the way, on the second period, Mr. Sin will talk it, uh, to solve it for uh, biology. Now, we have two periods tomorrow. 